What's up guys, my name is on Cage Games. Welcome back to another Injustice 2 video. Today, we're gonna do our thoughts on the Adam gameplay trailer and everything about Adam. If you guys don't know, Adam's trailer, his gameplay trailer, just got released on the CW's Machinima's Chasing the Cup. It came out of nowhere and his gameplay is pretty freaking awesome. So today, we're gonna talk about Adam, our thoughts. And when I say we, I mean I'm not by myself. I got my buddy, Caboose XBL. Say what's up, man. What's going on, people? Very excited to be here talking about Adam, which was a crazy surprise reveal today yes. that nobody was seeing coming. We thought that it was going to be Hellboy, or a lot of us thought it was going to be Hellboy, but Adam? Like, what? Yeah, so for me, I mean, I, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be a new character because they said it was going to be a new character reveal, but like, just the idea that they, they're revealing a Fighter Pack 3 character this early and we're seeing gameplay of him before we even see gameplay of hellboy was like a crazy thing so either way i'm just i'm excited yeah i know like you know let's let's forget about hellboy right now we're just gonna <laughs> go to fighter pack 3 i'm like come on down the road you gotta let me process all this but we're not talking about fighter pack 3 today we're just talking about adam and uh, our initial thoughts on his gameplay trailer caboose why don't you drop that bombshell news about adam that not a lot of people know about so this is definitely something that uh not a lot of people are going to see coming so everyone kind of associates and knows the character of adam to be with ray palmer that is the character that adam is being portrayed as in the legends of tomorrow tv show and everything but actually the adam in injustice 2 is ryan Choi, and you can actually see this information in the description of the original upload from uh, Netherrealm, they say physics prodigy Ryan Choi took on the mantle of the Atom when his mentor and original Atom Ray Palmer mysteriously disappeared. Ryan Choi is, uh, as far as I know, the fourth Atom, the fourth incarnation of the character to have appeared as that character in DC Comics. And uh, yeah, he's as someone uh, as Uncaged would be excited for. He is Asian. Uh, yes, <laughs> guys. All right, listen here. <laughs> I was saying that <laughs> Injustice doesn't have enough Asian characters. Now, Sub-Zero, okay. Well, I'm not going to count him because he's a Mortal Kombat character. But Ryan Choi. Look, I'm not going to lie and say I'm the biggest Ryan Choi fan because <laughs> I know nothing about this character. All I know is what Wikipedia told me and what Caboose told me. So all I know is he's his name is Ryan Choi. He's the fourth Adam and he's Asian and your boy is going to rock with this character even more now. Yeah, I just think it's great overall because it just it just adds some more diversity to the cast. So yeah, I think that's great. Definitely. I love diversity. So that is awesome that Ryan Choi is the Adam in Injustice 2, which is really surprising because I once people thought that Adam was going to be in the game, people were going to be like, oh, it's Ray Palmer. But this was a very interesting choice picking not Ray Palmer and going Ryan Choi. You know, I think that enough people are familiar with the Adam, and uh, this is a nice way to give the spotlight to a person like Ryan Choi. Again, adding some more diversity to the cast. So that just that excites me overall. But his gameplay, oh, let's that talk about is gameplay. where the excitement really kicks up because holy crap, does he look cool. I was very worried when I first saw the silhouette of a shrunken person mm -hmm. in the character select screen on how the hell a character like the Atom would work in Injustice 2. How the hell does a guy whose main superpower is shrinking to a like molecule size work in a fighting game? And from what I've seen, it looks like it works. Now what I'm wondering about is, does he have the ability to just shrink on command and completely change up the way hitboxes work on the, on the playing field? Or is he just going to have the whole shrinking ability be a part of specific special moves or combo strings? So I'll throw it to you. I don't know what you think about it. Yeah, I pretty much thought the same thing when I saw that there was a possibility that Adam could be in the game. What was his gameplay going to be like? My idea was that they're going to go with the Legends of Tomorrow route where like kind of like a mech suit. And then he right. just stays in his uh, big form when he fights and when he does the super move or his intros and outros, then he shrinks. But with this trailer, his gameplay... It looks like it involves a lot of shrinking, so I'm thinking now that maybe if you do a unique combo string, then he will shrink, yeah. but for the most part, he's going to be normal size, Yeah, I hope, because if he goes shrinking and, you know, big and small, it's going to confuse a lot of people and the hitbox is going to be ridiculous. Now, what would be really cool, and this is like a little idea I just kind of thought of, is like, maybe his trait is that he can shrink, but the only hindrance to him being pretty invulnerable in this state is that he doesn't do a lot of damage and in fact like I, it would be cool like you know okay he can shrink he's hard to hit in this state but his damage is scaled big time like he really can't do a ton of damage 
but you can obviously just get some hits in there, confuse your opponent, something like that. What do you think about that? Not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like the whole, he does less damage. And you know what, just to like up it up even more, maybe he has like the Bane effect where he takes more damage in that small state. Yeah, that could be pretty sweet too if you get, if you get caught, you know, as hard mm -hmm. as it may be or something. And you take a lot more damage, something like that. That's the risk of shrinking in size and everything. That is a pretty good idea for his trait. I don't know how well it worked though. Yeah. We didn't see much for the gameplay. It was very quick shot. So we don't know exactly what his trait actually will be, but we do see a lot of shrinking going on. Yeah. So one can assume it's a combo string. Others, it could be a trait, but we just gotta wait for more uh, gameplay for the Atom. Now we didn't just see him shrink which was the really cool You're part right. of the trailer. Now, I don't know if this is just exclusive to the super move, but he did grow in size as well at one point. And I wonder, and I hope, because it would be really cool, if that was a part of his move set as well. Oh, man. If he can somehow grow in the normal that gameplay, would be awesome. that would be so hyped to see in tournament. <laughs> but uh, who knows? Fingers crossed for like an ability that you can unlock or something. I don't know. That would be awesome. Abilities we know can open many doors, so... Let's hope that we get a giant Atom ability. <laughs> that would be sweet. Next, let's talk about, you know, his design, his base design. What do you think about his look? Yeah, you know, I mean, that was the one drawback that I had for overall from the trailer. You know, the helmet looks a little weird. His overall design is a little funky. I don't know how I feel about it, but I mean, you know, I can never really complain too much just because the silver lining always becomes the gear system in that yes. there's probably some gear out there, some epic gear out there for Adam that's going to make him look amazing. So I'm going to reserve my judge judgment completely until I can see what his gear looks like. But as of right now, just looking at his base design, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think his design is its not the greatest in the game, but like Abu said, the gear system is what uh, saves characters. And overall, I think it could be worse. His design could be a lot worse, but for his default, it could be better as well. Yeah. Uh, so overall, I think it's uh, it's decent. Yeah. It'll get the job done. Now, to anyone who's confused out there, because I'm sure there's a lot of people that are, he is not the next DLC character coming out. No, yes. Thank from you for pointing that out. Yeah, from what you can see in the trailer and all the information that you might see out there from Netherrealm officially, uh, Adam is going to be in Fighter Pack 3, and he'll be coming out in December. So Hellboy is still the next character that's going to be coming out. The next character we'll be able to play as, but... This is our first look at Fighter Pack 3, and Adam is the first character there, and he'll be coming out in December. Don't get it twisted. Adam is not going to take the spot of Hellboy, okay? Adam is not in Fighter Pack 2. Adam is in Fighter Pack 3, and we're still going to get Hellboy before Adam. So Hellboy is probably going to get released. It would be cool if he gets released this month. I think it's a little bit early, though. So probably November is when we get Hellboy, right. and December is Adam. Yeah. Just wrap it up and give our final thoughts on Adam here. What are you, what are you thinking, Caboose? I'm, you I'm, play really, I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to be playing this guy. I can't wait to see what he can do overall. What, I'm, what always excites me about seeing these trailers is like, what are they showing off here that's a part of the main moveset? What are they showing off that are like special abilities that you can unlock? So that's always the fun thing about finally getting our hands on the character. And while he is a bit of a ways away, I'm definitely very, very excited. And I'm glad to see some more DC characters and some more diversity joining the roster of Injustice 2. Amen to that. I'm super excited for Adam in the game. I can't wait to customize him. I can't wait to learn the character. His shaders. His shaders. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to see his shaders. Oh, it's yeah. so sick. But guys, that is our thoughts on Adam being in Injustice 2, the Adam gameplay trailer. Thank you to my buddy Caboose for joining me on this little commentary here. If you guys haven't heard of Caboose yet, what, what? are you guys living on a rock? Come on, come on. Check out his channel. I'll link everything down below. Go over there. Say the Cage fam says, what up? But Caboose, before we wrap up the video, any last words for the Cage fam? Thanks so much for having me. Always excited to talk Injustice 2 with you, man. And uh, hell yeah. Awesome. Yes, thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this another Injustice 2 topic video. Let me know all your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about Adam being in the game? And are you a fan of Ryan Choi being the Adam? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you guys did. Check out Caboose's channel and all his uh, social medias down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. My name's on Cage Games and you just got caged. Cage. intro. I didn't realize you could not get to hear his intro. Uppercut into giant, the giant Adam.